Good morning, everyone. This is Bill Keegan, Tom Andrew in Foxborough with your COVID-19 update. Uh, so taking a look at the numbers this morning, um, we currently have 101 cases that have occurred since uh, March 15th. Total uh, people that have recovered is 75. And uh, right now we're down to only 14 cases of COVID, uh, active COVID-19 cases in Foxborough, which is actually pretty good. So it keeps dropping down almost day by day now, which is a good, a good sign to see that. So total of 10 people have been lost in the follow-up. Um, 677 people have tested negative and uh, four people remain hospitalized at this time. We've also only, only impacted by, by one, or certainly not for the person. Obviously, this is not to diminish anything, but we certainly we've lost only one person in comparison to other places throughout the Commonwealth. And and saying and looking at Norfolk County, um, we've lost uh, we've lost 735 overall. So Foxborough, in in all in all, has done very very well under the circumstances. Um, of course, no no person uh, lost in this thing is, is considered to be a good thing at any point in time, obviously. So it's, uh, currently there are a total of 7,565 cases that occurred in, in Norfolk County, 735 deaths, and, um, and that's the latest information that we have on the on the statewide on the uh, on the county and local numbers. And total on the statewide level, there are a total of 87,925 cases have been reported, and 476,000 uh, 940 cases have tested have been tested. Throughout the uh, throughout the Commonwealth, 476,940 is the number that we currently have. So let's take a look at the um, take a look at the report for today. Uh, on Sunday, the Baker and Polito administration announced 56 million dollars to combat urgent foods insecurity for some Massachusetts families, individuals as a result of COVID-19. This funding is in, is consistent with the the findings of the Food Security Task Force, which was convened by the Massachusetts COVID-19 Command Center in response to increased demands for food assistance. In less than a month, the Food Security Task um, Task Force prioritized more than 80, 000, 80, 880 recommendations into the following key actionable categories. Develop and implement an emergency food program, fortify the food bank system, maximize federal resources for food and nutrition, reinforce and deploy the food system infrastructure. As the task force continues its work going forward, the administration announced a $36 million COVID-19 food security infrastructure grant program, a $5 million increase for the, for the Healthy Incentives Program, and $12 million for the provision of 25,000 food family boxes per week through the regional food supply system. $3 million in funding is, is an immediate, is an immediate re refile for food to food banks. And from the MRC email today, uh, there are 87,925 case, confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the Commonwealth with 80, 873 new cases and 76 deaths as of yesterday at 4 p.m. The average new cases over the last seven days is 1,228 cases, and the average number of deaths is 114. The 11% of the 770 of the 7,741 tests reported yesterday were positive, with a seven-day weighted average positive test rate of 9.9%, of just below 10%. So uh, there are 2,472 individuals that are hospitalized with COVID-19 statewide. That's a decrease of 61 from yesterday, uh, actually the day before. The day, Department of Public Health regularly releases their daily reporting dashboard, and uh, that, that information can be easily found. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, for more details on our current businesses and social, on the reopening dates update rather, more, more details on the current business and social prevention policies, reopening plans for the future can be found at mass.gov slash reopening. Key elements of, fa of, of phases are the safer at home advisory, the schedules for businesses reopening and the information on, on workplace state safety standards. For business owners, the Associated Industries of Massachusetts has updated the COVID-19 resource page with helpful information on complying with the reopening guidelines. And for business owners or others who need to, need to purchase protective uh, personal uh, purchase protective equipment or, or cleaning supplies to reopen, you can find details, information, and search a list of vendors on that page. Uh, if you need additional guidance or have questions, either as an employer or as a worker, you can submit questions and comments on reopening use using the online uh, contact form or via email. One com uh, commonly raised question is the planning process for safely reopening schools and other education and child-related issues. 
Commissioner of Education has convened a small working group to address these issues, and we are expected to learn more of the detailed guidelines in June. In the short term, schools will continue to remain uh, with remote learning through the end of the year, and child care providers remain closed except for emergency child care programs through June 29th. We say through the end of the school year, uh, that, that's what we mean by saying that through, through June. Uh, hospital capacity uh, as of um, as of March um, May 50, May 19th rather 53 percent of the Commonwealth's 17,600 permanent and temporary hospital beds are available for new patients if needed. The PPE uh, con distribution continues across the Commonwealth, including over 367,000 N95 and K95 masks and 136 ventilators. Mobile testing: the, the Massachusetts National Guard Mobile Testing Unit. Uh, conducted 717 visits and conducted 45,065 tests as of as of 519. Those wishing to access statewide COVID-19 test locator locations, you can visit uh, mass.gov slash COVID testing uh, test map to find a provider close close to you. Now, on the legislative front, on Monday, the Senate passed a new version of legislation to improve data collection and reporting by the Department of Public Health and COVID-19. Once final language of the bill is approved, it will be enacted by both chambers and sent to the governor for a signature. Additional items, those who are still having trouble accessing economic impact payments, stimulus checks from the IRS may now call 1-800-919-9835 to have their questions answered if they are not successful with Get My Payment tool. The IRS phone operation is staffed by 3,500 operators and more details can be found online. AAA is op reopening its Massachusetts offices to select services, including R&B services, by appointment only. That's actually good news because uh, obviously getting um, information uh, through the R&B is challenging at best at least, at least at this point. I always found that AAA was a really good resource to, to get information done uh, more smoothly and, and uh, efficiently. To find a AAA service near you, you can contact AAA.com slash branches. Uh, this week's ju Supreme Judicial Court report for testing uh, of testing and positive COVID-19 cases in states, jails, and correctional facilities is available online. Um, the un unemployment assistance, you can go to the, 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 uh, uh, the, the MASS website on uh, dot, uh, un the, the Department of Unemployment Assistance. Uh, MASS.gov website will give you that information. Department of Transitional Assistance, uh, that will just, that'll be mass.gov slash DTA COVID-19 resources and support and also includes information on pandemic EBT benefits for children. Uh, again, American Red Cross looking for help and donation, blood donations. Any help on that front could be certainly welcome. And Safer at Home, as of May 18th, the statewide stay-at-home advisory is now Safer at Home advisory. In many ways, this advisory remains in the same spirit as previous policies, and, but however, you should practice social distancing and limit your non-essential interactions as much as possible. And finally, the, uh, the face covering, the real, um, as reopening continues, statewide face covering remains in effect for public and indoor, uh, in public indoor and outdoor space in situations where social distancing is not possible. Full advisory and detailed guidance can be found online. So that is the latest information that we can provide to you as of today. Um, going back over the, over the numbers again for, for today, um, we can uh, we just uh, go back here for one minute. The numbers again for today are uh, a total of 14 active cases in Foxborough. 10 people have been lost to the follow-up. 677 have tested negative. Uh, four people remain hospitalized at this time, and one person has passed as a result of COVID-19 complications. Those are the latest numbers in Massachusetts, uh, in Foxborough rather, and uh, we will continue to update you again each day here in around 10 o'clock uh, as, as much as possible. If, you, if anybody has any questions that they need to contact me with, feel free to send your, your, your inquiries to wkegan at, at, at foxboroma.gov, uh, wkegan at foxboroma.gov, and happy to respond to you as needed. Again, have, stay safe out there. Enjoy the good weather. We're going to have a nice string of good weather for the next several days. Uh, spring is upon us, and it's going to be good to see um, uh, get out there and enjoy the, enjoy the good weather while, while it lasts. And um, hope you all stay safe, and, and uh, I'll see you right back here again tomorrow morning around 10 o'clock. Until then, take care.